Another little while and this thing could have developed into a, a actual fire. Westbrook Fire Chief Steve Sloan brought some props into the fire station for our interview today to demonstrate the do's and don'ts for using space heaters in your home. What do you recommend for people to use this safely? So they need to make sure that they, these are on a dedicated circuit. So you don't want to run it on a same thing that your refrigerator's on or other space heaters because it's just going to overdraw the, the circuit. If they use an extension cord, that will heat up and that can melt as well. Can you tell me why something like this happens? So it just, the these things draw a tremendous amount of electricity. What do you recommend on placement for these types of heaters? Um, can that also cause a fire? You want to make sure that it's away from any combustible materials, so you don't want to put it next to your couch. After my interview with Chief Sloan, I met up with the store manager at Rocky's Ace Hardware and Bath for advice to stop your pipes from freezing in weather like this. Have them kind of dripping constantly, especially when it's this cold, you know, just to keep the water moving. Moving water won't freeze. The store manager of Rocky's Ace Hardware says that depending on what kind of home you have uh, and what kind of pipes are in your home, that you can also use heat tape to keep those pipes flowing and functioning in cold weather like this. And he also says that customers are coming in to buy things like foam and sealant for any cracks in their windows to keep the cold air out. But for now, reporting live in Westbrook, I'm Talia Clark for WMTW News 8.